Finna by Nate Marshall. For Juanita in the Perspectives Leadership Academy class of 2016. So this one time I was finna, say finna, in an academic context. And a voice in my head said, you shouldn't be worried about using a word that ain't a word. And I was like, word? For a long time, that was how I let my life happen. I let my mind tell me a million no's that the world had implemented in me before I even formed questions. I let my power be dulled by my fear of fitting. But I remember a million fitness I avoided to get there. Like the day them dudes jumped me off the bus and I was finna get stomped out like a loose square. Or the day they got to shooting at the park and I was finna catch one like an alley-oop. Or the day my grandma died and my grades dropped and I was finna not finish high school. Except I had a praying mama and good teachers and poems to write. I'm thankful for all the, these finnas that never were when I reminded myself of who I've always been. I remember why my finna is so necessary. Finna comes from the southern phrase fixing to. Like I come from my southern grandmothers and finna is this word that reminds me about everything next. Even when I'm been a broken boy I know I'm fixing to get fixed. I'm finna be better. Every dream I have is a finna away from achievement. Each love I uncover is a finna I've, I unfold. Every challenge I choose to meet and not let defeat me is a finna I fight for. My hope is like my language. It's like my people. It's black. It's brown. And it's alive. It's laughing. And it's growing. And it's alive. It's learning and it's alive and it's fighting and it's alive. It's finna take on this whole wide world with a whole slang for possibility. This is the title poem from Nate Marshall's latest collection, Finna. It is a slang term that takes into consideration the phrase fixing to. You're about to do something. Finna is about something is about to occur, and so I love hearing him read the poem because to me, I'm trying to hold on to <laughs> to uh, the proper way of pronouncing things. But you really have to let the slang, you have to let the words flow out in your your everyday language as opposed to trying to speak properly with with the poem. And so I love this poem because. Of the freedom of just being who you are that's this poem is just straight up south side chicago from where um mr marshall originates from and i just love the poem the whole collection is awesome <laughs> you find out very quickly that uh too short is his mother's favorite hip-hop artist because <laughs> And throughout the poems, he says, uh, uses uh, two shorts catchphrase, what's my favorite word? And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I definitely encourage you to read the entire collection of Benna. And um, Nate Marshall um, is currently a professor at, um, he's a currently a professor, a professor of English at the um, Colorado College. So, um, Definitely be on the lookout for his work. He's um, very active on social media and it does a lot of different types of writing. So uh, let me know your thoughts on this poem. Thanks for watching.